Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series Episode 89, Text Part 2. We're going to be using a canvas as an overlay to draw out some text. Again, we have a canvas here instead of a diff. We set the height and width to be equal to the canvas above. We have a couple different styles here, all of them the same, except for these two I've commented out, and I'll explain why uh, right now, in fact. We'll just jump right in. So you can see here we have this eye position again, and we can rotate, but we cannot click anything because the other canvas is on top of this canvas, so it's intercepting all of the pointer events. So we need to go ahead and set the pointer events to none. We're going to just set the z-index above, just so you know for, in fact, that it is above it. So now as this refreshes and takes a moment, I'll go ahead and jump in onto the next set of part of code. I'm going to go ahead and grab the overlay, and with that overlay we're going to get the context. And then with the context, we can do all sorts of interesting things here with the canvas object. We're going to go ahead and set the message here, doing the same thing as before. And then we're going to go ahead and clear this. We want to clear before we're always drawing it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set, set the font size appropriately, as well as the fill style. And then fill text. And then this is the location of the fill text. We're just doing it halfway through the screen so you can kind of see. Here's the refresh thing. You can see that we now can rotate and click through to our objects. Um, so, and then we're just going to go ahead and save and restore that every time. Again, update overlay. I don't know if I showed this in the previous episode. That's just in the middle of the tick. So that's just being called over and over again. So, another simple way to do things. Um, I'm not going to get into moving around text within the application yet, but I will be doing that in the near future. Um, this is... Uh, it's a little bit more difficult to do, and there's a lot more to it, but I will be getting into that eventually. I'm going to take a quick break to do a few more things, though, first. And But that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, give me a like and subscribe on YouTube. That'll help me a lot. Share on social media, if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and send it for my newsletter. And that's it. Um, follow me on Twitter as well. Have a great one. Thanks, guys.